Hey, this is River Dave. I'm standing here with my good buddy Tony C. We're standing in front of the M29 with 565s. Tony, tell us what's so exciting about this boat right here. Uh, this is our new windshield boat. We did the first one without boards. Uh, this is our first twin inboard boat. We've got another one with a single 1350 in it. We're excited about this. This is kind of a little bit above our entry level boat. So it starts about 265 with 520s. Uh, this one here is sitting about 335 for the boat show. Nice little special, so we can discount a little bit. 335 sounds like a house to a lot of people, but let's let's understand what we're talking about here. This is a full-blown M29 that runs 120, one, 120 off the rev limiters. Yeah. And talking to Hemmingston earlier, he was saying probably 125, 126. Yeah. Yeah, a little prop that one. Yeah, we still got to play with it. The bottom pickups are a little low. Um, that was right off the trailer just so we could see how it ran for the boat show to tell people what it was good for, but I was had 33 herrings on it, and um, like I was on the rev limiter, like pretty hard at 120. So one of the things I really like that DCB has been doing, uh, especially in the 2012 and uh, they're doing a lot of almost monochromatic gel schemes. You know, the solid orange, the solid red. Uh, they had the silver blue, bow. Yeah, the you know, when, when, in a land of rainbows, I guess oh, you'd yeah. say. Uh, you guys are doing a lot of really just clean and simple and timeless designs. And, uh, you know, with the windshield right behind you here, it's, it's almost like pinstriping, you know, without the flare of pinstriping, which right. I assume is almost next. But, right. but uh, it, it's really beautiful to, to take a look at. Tony, tell us uh, if, if, in a fashion without insulting anybody else, tell us what makes a DCB above the rest. What makes a DCB a DCB? DCB is, is all about, it's always been all about fit and finish, how we finish the boats, um, and like I said, I think what really sends us ahead, like Shiata, when we be in comparison, is we do 10, 12 boats a year, and that's all we want to do. Right. Keep Everything's hand-built. It's all, it's, to me, it's, it's all about quality, not quantity. So I think when you start building a bunch of boats, it's hard to keep the real nice stuff, real nice all the time. That's what you Every single bolt is hand-polished. Every part's hand built for DCB. We have one person make all our stuff. A lot of stuff's custom one off. We like to make it just a little bit different. And, you know. You're not going to see it in the video, but even on this rev rail, every single screw is straight up and down. Yeah, I mean, it's, they're all <laughs> like that. You know, they're through both. Even the nuts and the washers on the backside in each part of the you know, So it's, it's just that little extra stuff where, you know, button heads everywhere, everything, very little Phillips screws. It's all just Allen heads or button heads. So we're going to we're going to conclude this here with. Uh, Basically, come down, check out the boat show. Yeah. DCB's got Amazing. their new white M29 down here with the 565s. It's a very cool boat. Tony, is there anything you want to say to the RDP community before we go? Uh, no, you guys would love to see it. We took a couple years off. It's good to be back. Uh, yesterday and today have actually been pretty solid. A lot of good people coming through here. We've got some good leads. So it's going to be actually a really good show, so I'd love to have everybody come down. We hope we see you guys this weekend. Uh, thank you so much. Tony. Take care.